So you just make the deal. Attraction's nothing. Cause okay, see, again, again, I'll try one more time and mm -hmm. I'm going to move on. Okay. You're... Well, let's just take it your way. Yes. Fuck attraction. You're supposed to be the attractive one. Oh, fuck. Okay. Yeah, I don't care about your attraction. I don't care about love either. Why do you women think you get it all? Oh Hello. my goodness. Hi, how are you? You been smoking that 420? No, I haven't. I haven't. Right, sitting kind of low. A little. I've been drinking a little. All right, what you got for me? Um, so I feel like I, I'm definitely know I'm a high value woman. I'm quality, went to a you know great college, great family. Okay, go ahead. Honey. I'm listening. Fun, I can cook, you know. I, I can kind of do it all. Um, right. And then you say guys want all of these things. I think approach, start dating someone. And I'm in, I wouldn't say entertainment, I'm an event planner. Uh -huh. So I'm the scene, I'm always connecting and meeting new How people. How old are you? Huh? How old are you? Huh? 29. 29, so what's the issue? Um. So once we get in a relationship, they, truly show their insecurities and they don't like me being around certain VIP scenes or going to certain events and venues and want to sit me down and, you know, have me barefoot and pregnant, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but that's, uh, no. that's not my career. It's no, not what I'm about to do. On. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's, 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 let's have a conversation. Okay. Uh, 29, what state are you in? Texas. Okay. I hope you're not in Dallas. I'm in Houston. Mm. Finesse Capital of Texas. Finesse Capital of Texas. You are correct. Well, yeah, I know. I used to live there. So here's the thing. Do you want to be married? I do. Children? Um, as of recently, I I feel like I need children more than want them. That's the thing. What does that mean? Um I didn't always want children, and recently, with my grandmother passing, seeing my aunt and my mom take care of her, I feel like I don't want to die alone, so. So, um, did you go to college in Texas? No, I went to Howard, right. H-U. You pledged sorority? No. Okay. Um, children, before you didn't want children, um, come back to that one, but it's like why do men want to they think you're all fun and cool and you know pretty and smart and all this but then they get insecure and well, let me I get to my, let me get to my point okay let me get to my point because you say men and i can't i can't let that go the men you got that's mm -hmm. not all men all True. right so when's your last relationship um official long term about two years ago and how long did Men that last? don't approach me, so you should know. How maybe... long did that last? Huh? How long did the relationship last? A year. Okay. So you, I don't doubt that you can attract men, but it sounds like you either have a hard time. It sounds like you have a hard time attracting men that you value. Put it that way. Yes, I attract. All right. But the question is, what do the men you want want from a woman? So you, when you came on, you came out with the resume. I'm this, I'm that, I'm great, I'm, and that's mm -hmm. fine. But tell me about what the men that you want want from a woman. Run that I, resume down. I mean, they want all the qualities that I have. I would. Well, then you should have no problem. That's what I'm saying. I should well, have no problem. But I get well, but, but, the, but but apparently that's not what they want. If what you if what you are offering is if what you're offering you say that's what they want then you should have no problem and the thing is do you make room for the possibility that maybe you present the looks component but don't present the other part of it i have but i don't okay, think do you, okay not wanting children why didn't you want children that's when i was selfish exactly that's and i wanted right. you to say the selfish word not me men don't want selfish women oh at all I, exactly. I've, I've worked on that. I've, I've exactly. worked on that. So selfish. So when you said I didn't want children, you notice I keyed on that because I'm like, well, there's a selfish one. 
Yeah. Because most of them don't want children because I don't want to mess up my body. I don't want to end up my life, my career, my this, that, whatever. It's all about you. So the kind of oh, men, that, the kind of you? men that, the kind of men know. that, the kind of men that are intimidated or whatever. That's just whatever you classify. They want something else. They want feminine, beautiful, inspirational, cooperative, submissive women who are trying to get on their page. Do you want to have so? You start would ask the question after you get married, do you want to have children? And afterwards, do you want to work? But you just now want children. So right. whether you want the power couple thing? Um, yeah. I mean, I just I really having kids is me being selfish, but also I want to really take care of my husband. Like I want okay. him to have one hundred percent of me when we're at that point. Okay, I get it. So, I get it. But what I, have okay. fun. I get it, I get it. I, I get it, but that's what you want. What about what he wants? See, okay, let's let's say this. How much money would you want your husband to really earn annually? To live the life you want, to eat, travel, hair, makeup, shopping, caring for family. Come on, give it to me. Don't don't hide it. Uh, Five hundred thousand. All right. What percentage of men earn that? Huh. Very little. What percentage? No, I mean, if you're what? talking all races, I would think. I just said what percentage of men earned that? Oh, maybe like, what, 7% or something? Not 1%. 1%? I mean, Damn. you're, you're hard. I mean, I'm trying, I hate to break this to you, but uh, I don't know why living in Texas, you should uh, put it this way. 3% earn around 300,000 more. 500,000 on the top, 1% of all men. And guess what? Men don't go and do what they have to do to become those kind of men. And what age do you think those men are when they're earning that kind of money? 40s. Right. And what do men want who have fought in corporate America or fought in the work world for 20 plus years? They want kids and a legacy. True, but I do want kids now. That was my but, past. But that's, that just, but, but that's recent. What you said earlier was what I believe to be the truth. I want to focus on my husband. Great. That will make you a good first wife or a starter wife. But typically men want legacy. They want a woman who's going to give them three or four kids for that half a million dollars they're earning because they got to pass it on somewhere. They don't want to leave it to their dog. <laughs> so the kind of men you're dating, probably are these guys who want a woman to do the power couple thing. Y'all on some 50-50 split in the bill kind of shit, which is oh, fine. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, oh. so you mean, okay, so you mean that these guys you're dating expect you not to work after you, if, if y'all want to get married, they would expect you not to work? Maybe not expect, but I think they'd be fine with it. First of all, it's another story. I don't really date like that. That's another thing. Like, people aren't approaching me so maybe that's where your rank can come in and people are all talking shit in this little comment section why are you worried about the comment section i'm not and i'm running the show huh? no i'm saying i would probably want to rank you'd be ranking out here so yeah, i don't yeah. get approached i get approached by like threes who are bro i'm talking about the men you dated. i'm talking about the, the guys you came in talking about are who those are guys i dated months years ago okay well these are the guys you came, about when you came to the door you said here's the issue the guys i'm dealing with are insecure they don't want this they don't want that and it doesn't surprise me if you're not dating a man who is thinking about family legacy and anything else it makes sense to me where are they at where are they uh, well they're around they just want where? women who are are not moving like you move on the same there we go I mean, you're moving like a modern woman. You give off the energy of, hey, if I were not to have kids, I'd just be cool with it. Let's travel, let's trip, let's, and that's fine. But those men tend to already have children and have likely been married. So you would be the second wife. So <laughs> to wait it out, okay. Well, because the question I ask you that you have to put thought into is not asking where are the men. The question is where are 
the men that you want, what do they want? That's what you ladies never seem to answer. Are you a Christian? Um, raised. Okay. More spiritual. Well, the, the old, but the old scripture was, he who findeth the wife finds the good thing. Mm -hmm. The presupposition is that you are a wife first, and then right. you get found. The men you are talking about are looking for wives. Yeah. You're not a wife. You're a professional fun girl. Okay, cool. but what am I supposed to do? Just sit down and like... No, no. So, okay, so, like... so my, somebody like myself, when I joke about it, say my next ex-wife, I've always said, if I were to try to get married again, it is for one or two reasons. If I married a younger woman, it will be because I want two or three kids. Right. Or if I didn't decide to go to career path, I probably wouldn't pick a younger woman. I get a woman in her mid thirties, early to mid thirties, and we just go live the quote unquote power couple thing. But really, you just be living on my program. But mm -hmm. I am a very small segment of men. You want men who are earning a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And dear heart, those men are going to get what they want. My question is, when's the last time you dated a guy who was an average earner. What? Fifty thousand. What's average? What's 50, average earner? Fifty thousand dollars a year. Actually, forty-five is closer to black. Men. Fifty for everybody. I don't think I'm like in those circles. I don't know. I never. I guess. So the dilemma you have is: I'm a modern woman wanting more of a. Let's just let's just say, for a simple comparison, a Sex in the City kind of lifestyle. Those kind of women. Yeah. Because you don't really want kids. No, I do want kids. I, do I mean, want now do you, I mean, do you I want? I do want kids. But I feel like once I have kids, I'm letting go of my whole self. See, like, so I'm you don't want kids. See, see, that's what I mean. See, a woman who wants kids does not look at them as being a, a, a liability. And every time you speak about kids, it's like, then I'm not the hot, sexy, da, 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 I'm not, I'm going to be a mom. You're putting How many kids do you want? You're putting words on it. That's not okay. Well, I'm then saying. explain to me then why you then explain no, to me what you mean. Once I have kids, I'm letting go of my own self. I feel like you lose an independence when you have kids. I, I'm, at least my mom did. I feel like if I can dedicate fully to my children and making sure that they're being taken care of by their mom and not by a nanny and some random people to where they can be like touched and what like I want to raise my own kids and that wouldn't allow me to do the three jobs I work now to be well, out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, listen. Uh, the men who earn the kind of money you're talking about don't want independent women either. Right. So no matter how we get to it, ma'am, children in your mind are a loss of independence. Yes. All right. Which maybe yeah. I'm not. Exactly. Which is, which means the, you're in your masculine energy. This is masculine. Yeah. So. I mean, ready for kids is anyone is anyone really ready for kids all the time like, all the time so and, and that and those are, and you can't find the men you're talking about because they're with those women because women who are these sex in the city masculine kind of masculine alpha female energy are, are fun for hooking up and casual sex but then the men but they don't stay around because the reality but, of it, listen what I'm about to say, the reality of it is this, even though now you would accept children, you would not really be a loving mother like somebody who wants children. Your attitude is, in this call has been, oh, I'll, I'll do it, but then I'm giving this up. So <laughs> listen, listen. So that, so you're even setting your children up for possible resentment. Look at all this extra body weight. I had to give this up to do this and this and that. And, and ma'am, and it comes back to being selfish. It does, but I'm not a, I'm probably like now, the most mm -hmm. selfish person you will ever meet. Like the I don't- selfish person? How to have a, like how having a child will be like until you have a child. Everyone who knows me knows that I would be an amazing mother and really my focus would be on my kids and my husband. Uh -huh. That's it. That's what I thought. Okay. Like, yeah. And like, you know, what's your longest relationship again? Huh? The longest relationship again was what? A little over three years. And how long ago was that? Five years ago. So you were 22 years old? 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if I have to ask your exes how they experienced you in a relationship, what would they say? She is blank. Um, back then, definitely selfish. Exactly. But mm -hmm. I haven't had a relationship in a while. Well, that listen. Mm -hmm. That means your relationship muscles, even as poor as they were back then, have gotten worse. They've atrophied. Yeah. So. I'm getting the professional presenter. I'm, I'm not pleading my case with him. It's, what I'm telling you is the men that you're talking about want more traditional wives, more traditional women. They don't want modern women. And you're not a traditional woman. No, I'm not. Like, so? but there's women who aren't traditional women. Like I said, I went to Howard. There's so, all the women there that I'm friends with are not traditional women. And are they all married? Most of them. The high value men? Mm hmm. Did they get, and when did they get married? Um, last two years. Then you found, you found a, a clutch of unusual women because uh, I've been black a long time and most sisters that present like you are not. That's where the whole dating down, we're all a good black man at. This is this has been with us since the, for the last 30 years. And you're saying that everybody that knows me knows I'll be this. All right, let's just say that's true. Okay. But then why aren't the men who want that approaching you? Because they do exist. They do. Are they still playing games? Maybe they're out here just... No. They're the ones hoeing it up because it's not me. No. See, it's see, see, and this is what I find interesting. You ladies always go to, well, they even if they are there, they gotta be doing something wrong because it's all right with me. Do you make room for the possibility? Maybe they're just reading that you're not what you say you are, even though that's what you want them to believe. I mean, I can't read minds, but maybe. Well, but but but, but the only the only other way it works in your world is. Yeah, they exist, but they're out there. But they're out there playing games. And it's, you see, it's always a problem with the men. It's never, it's never right here. Not, not all of them. I'm just saying the ones that come in contact to you that do approach, mm -hmm. and I'm hoping that they're intentional with that approach. Well, the, but I'm not. But see, the thing is, what I'm saying is the men that approach. I'm not saying that all the men who approach you. Are the, I'm not saying you're being approached by the kind of men you want. I'm saying why aren't you being approached by the men you want? I am being approached by the men that I want, but I feel like. They're out there playing games, but also we're in a different realm. We're talking like, like the athletes and the, you know, yeah, people that I'm on the scene with. So yeah, I don't wear my, I don't concern myself with athletes and entertainers. I know the lifestyle. I concern myself with that. Right, and that's I think usually where I'm in the event. You know. Well, then, then you get what you deserve. Then you get what you deserve. If you, that's what you're dealing with. You get what you deserve. You know what comes with that lifestyle. I'm talking about the people who actually have to go make their money, $500,000 a year, not people who, no disrespect to the athletes and entertainers, but I worry about high value as men who are business class, not athletes yeah. and entertainers. Where are those men? Because these men over here, if they had to do transferable skills in corporate America, they couldn't do it. Right. Okay, then I think I'm just like dumb because I do have those quality guys coming to me too but then it comes down to attraction just like you say guys like looks first and all these things and then i'll be like it's everything i prayed for and like you you're know, not attracted to them or they're not attracted to, you're not attracted to them that i wouldn't i'm not attracted to them <laughs> <laughs> so black, black women i swear to god you want black, everything you ever hear just a ranking system we got mm -hmm. our own yeah but see the thing is black but see the thing is Black men aren't complaining about shit not working. Y'all been complaining for 50 years. We don't complain about it. I'm not always complaining, but you I also- I said black women. Black, yeah. look, black men don't complain about being ranked. You yeah, guys do. Sorry. Look, you just said, this woman, ma'am, you want a man who's making $500,000 a year and you're attracted to, yes. and you doesn't want kids. I do want kids. Okay, and, and to be a selfish, to be a, <laughs> questionable brother mess and here's the thing i asked you the same question these men exist here's the funny thing you want to know why i know they exist because in my facebook group that's been that's been around for six months eight 
black couples have got together in three engagements. One was in Aruba um, on New Year's Eve, and another sister found her husband, who's an attorney down there in Houston, he's a $10 million attorney, found him in my group in a week. So I would know you, they exist. Not, would you put me in the Facebook group? Nope. I'm not gonna put you in, you gotta apply gotcha. just like everybody else. You gotta apply like everybody else. See, that's another thing. I'm not trying to be funny, but I think, I mean, yeah. man, you, you dealing in athletes and entertainers, that's a different world. Yeah, that's not all. That's just the world I'm- So using. basically what you said is, I I am ready to go if the problem is men. And I'm not gonna argue with you, ma'am, but there's so many women who feel like you, the woman who was on the newscast who did this dating down thing, you guys are almost carbon copies of one another as far as how y'all talk. Wait, dating down? The whole premise I'm doing this show right now. And the point yeah. is, man, the point is, what you're basically trying to get, what you're trying to get the audience to accept is, these men don't exist. And I've showed over and over for months and months, they do exist. They just don't want women like you. They and maybe. They, or they're they, not that's not an insult. Or they're they not it's not an insult. Women like me. No, no, no. Like, they why don't. Can't no, no, no. See, you keep. See, 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 the thing is, this is what you just said. They're not ready for women like you. There's always a deficit on the men's side. No, they don't want you. Those men do not want me. But when they, they approach, don't. When they approach, and, and here's the thing. Listen. Me and asking me to marry them. And listen. Them, and listen. Them, but then when we sit around Listen. and come on out and about you like see, what? She's not, now, now, now your ego's involved. Listen, no, no. you ladies control access to sex. We control access to relationship. So you can say whatever you want. We control access to relationship and they don't want it with you. And they're going to get it from another woman. And, and, and the only way you're going to get it is to understand what they want and give them what they want. Not saying they're not ready for you. They ain't hearing that bullshit. They're going on down the street. It's a Doppler effect. They ain't ready for me. They can't handle me. And he's going on down the street with his fiance. While your ass is just getting older. Fiance. I mean, I mean, I'm trying to keep it light, man, but I, I, I get upset when I hear sisters who will sit back and put on their diva boss 10 energy when you look in reality dead in the face at 30 years old. 29. Straight up in the danger zone. Okay. That means you got you got five more years before five six more years before high risk pregnancy. After this conversation is over, man, go back and listen to it because I'm trying to tell you that the men exist. I know they exist. It's true. I believe they exist too. Then they do. Then then you got to ask, what do the men that exist that you want want from a woman? That's one thing. Mm -hmm. And are you willing to, are you willing and capable of giving them what they want? Can you make a deal? Right. Because they exist. And who are like me in socials and out, they're just downplaying their whole personalities. <laughs> to get the, like to get these, like. <laughs> you keep going back. Where I mean, we, I'm saying. You deal, said, to me, deal would be me looking in the mirror and being like, okay, Kara. See, ma'am, your problem's not in the mirror. No, like that you just said, you need to your like- problem is, Your problem is, okay, how tall are you? Five, nine. Dress size? Six, eight. Your problem's not in the mirror. I meant like internally the mirror. I, no, no, but see, the mirror part is the easy part. It's the other part, the communication, the behavior, the interaction, the part that draws the kind of meaning that you want to you and repels the fuck boys you're talking about away. Mm -hmm. See, the, the guy that I was talking about, the attorney, he was done with American women. He was done. He was going to move to the Dominican Republic. And I said, come on in my group, man. He resisted. Go to my ch my channel, the video's up. And he's like, man, I just, and I just decided to join it. And inside of one week, got his fiance, just bought a new house. I just saw him. She, thank you for the Christmas gift. So you can't tell me they don't exist. I know these men. I, I'm not saying that. They, I just had that in October. No, because if you had it in October, you'd be a you'd be a fiance by now. So you just make the deal. Attraction's nothing. Cause okay, see again, again, I will try one more time and mm -hmm. I'm gonna move on. Okay. You're well, let's just take it your way. Yes, 
fuck attraction. You're supposed to be the attractive one. Oh, fuck. Okay. Yeah, I don't care about your attraction. I don't care about love either. Why do you women think you get it all? What makes you so special that you get it all? Men get it all, all the time. So yeah. yeah. No, we don't. And we accept what we get. That's tragic. I don't know, ma'am. You got a choice. Because here's the thing, what 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 you here's the reality. Are you ready? The reality is what you can have to negotiate with right now has a time limit on it. It will spoil. It will get old. And what you have today, it won't be worth the same thing five years from now. Because it ain't worth the same thing as it was five years ago. So after this is over, because it seems like you have maybe some girlfriends around or people around, I'm not saying this to be hurtful, man, but you gotta tone this down and really come down. You're going to have to really ask what do these men want that I want and then what matters more do you need this that man and attraction and this and if that's the case go in your wallet go pay sixty thousand dollars to a matchmaker and do it that way no I hear you I agree so all right okay uh, I'm just saying I do can't have it all ladies it's not hard.